So today I'm talking about a P0715 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0715 code? Well, it's an input turbine speed sensor, a circuit. And what does this mean? Well, basically transmissions can have different sensors. They can have output speed sensors. They can have vehicle speed sensors, and they can also have this input speed sensor. And the computer seeing that this input speed sensor is having some kind of issue that's not communicating or it's communicating sometimes and not other times, but there's some kind of problem going on with it. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing about these sensors is that sometimes they can be located on the outside of the transmission. This is fairly common that they are located on the outside of the transmission, but they can also be located on the inside. If they are located on the outside of the transmission like this, then it's usually fairly simple or at least straightforward on how to go about checking it and testing it or replacing it. But if it's located inside the transmission, then it's going to be much harder to be able to replace it and test it and different things like this. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, different things along these lines. And keep in mind, there can also be multiple speed sensors. There could be a vehicle speed sensor. There could be an output speed sensor, an input speed sensor. So if you do go to work on this problem, be sure to get a diagram of what sensors do what and where they're located and everything for your particular vehicle, since there can be differences and there can be multiple speed sensors. And so what are some possible causes of a P0715 code? Well, one of the first things to do whenever you have a transmission problem is go check the transmission fluid. Be sure it's at the correct level, that it's not low or anything like this. It's because low transmission fluid can cause issues. It can cause different problems. Some newer vehicles, you can no longer check the transmission fluid. They won't have dipsticks on some of them. It'll all be enclosed. But if you can go check your transmission fluid, be sure it's not low. And if it is low, add some in until it's at the correct level. The next thing that could cause this is a bad input speed sensor. If it's gone bad, it may just need to be replaced. You can't test these sensors if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that. Like I said before, be sure to get a diagram so you know exactly where those speed sensors are located and which one you're working on. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad input speed sensor. The next thing that could cause an issue is the wiring going to the speed sensor. So if there's any kind of issues with the wiring going to the sensor, then it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad speed sensor. So you can get a wiring diagram and things like this, and you could check out the wiring. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing on the list is going to be that the transmission is having some kind of issue or the torque converter is having some kind of issue or there's just something going on inside of there that's causing a problem. And if the only code you're getting is a P0715 code, usually it's just going to be that input speed sensor or the wiring going to it. But if you are getting other codes and things like this, then there might be some kind of other issue going on with that transmission that's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with the computer either the transmission control module or the powertrain control module or something like this. And this is not very common. This is fairly rare. And so usually it's going to be some other cause, but it is possible that there's something going on with one of the computers and it's causing an issue. So last thing on the list is going to be a bad TCM or PCM. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0715 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.